Morning, Julia. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, if you could just explain to us what this new law actually is that comes into place on, Oct on, on April the 1st, because this is the Hate Crime and Public Order, brackets, Scotland, close brackets, Act. Um, uh, and uh, I just want to know, like, what does it actually mean for people? Well, it's, um, it's a, 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 a piece of legislation that brings together um, some previous laws around hate crimes and it adds in some additional um, measures such as stirring up hatred. Um, but the, the problem with the legislation is that it's incredibly poorly drafted. The bar for prosecution, so the test for prosecution uh, for um, uh, uh, these types of offences is extremely low. The um, uh, the, uh, uh, the the mechanisms in which prosecutions can take place and the offences can be reported uh, are extremely vague and, and really open the door for vexatious um, uh, allegations and yeah. then a litigious process to to defend yourself, uh, where the process becomes the the punishment effectively. But what it, it effectively does is it makes telling the truth unlawful. Uh, I mean, yeah, it, which um, is which can uh, be a problem when it comes to the trans issue. I'm going to say this is um, we, we're told yeah. there's going to be training guidance, communications planning. I think that's probably not going to be enough, but cre it creates a criminal offence of stirring up of hatred, um, uh, yeah. expanding on a similar offence about based on racist abuse that's been on the statute book for decades. And offences are considered aggravated, so you get a stiffer sentence if they involve prejudice on the basis of age, disability, race, religion, sexual orientation, or transgender identity. But the, the tr problem we've had with that, and we're accused of, people accused, and J.K. Rowling's constantly accused of this online as well, that it's transphobic to state the biological fact that a trans woman uh, is not a woman, a trans woman is, by the, the, the trans bit is the key, is, is a man, and, a, uh, and, uh, and she has made these statements many times, so have I. When people say, well, that is in some way expressing hatred or dehumanising uh, someone who uh, has a trans identity, then you can be accused of this sort of hate speech. Now, we've seen in, in England many times when these, these things called non-crime hate incidents uh, happen. Uh, yeah. People have got a record effectively. Often it can prevent them from getting jobs with children or, or getting other sort of jobs because they've got, like, not a criminal record, but they sort of do have. Even if there's no evidence of anything, just someone said... They thought they found it offensive. They thought it was hateful. They didn't even need to be the, the object of it or even be in the same room that the police could still investigate. That's correct. This goes even further, though, because, I mean, J.K. Rowling lives in Scotland. I live in, in England. Um, someone could make a complaint about me tweeting the fact that a trans woman is not a woman about any particular person. They could make a complaint to the police in Scotland. The police in Scotland could then ask my local police force, the Metropolitan Police, to come and investigate me, and I could be investigated and prosecuted for that crime, couldn't I? Um, well, I'm not entirely sure how that would work um, in terms of you being brought to justice in Scotland, because that's what the law would be in effect. It's the publishing that is mm. the offence, and so I'm not entirely sure how they would, uh, to, for lack of a better word, extradite you from, uh, from England into Scotland. But that principle uh, is true not just uh, within the constituent parts of the United Kingdom but across the globe so if I was in the States and I posted something on my Twitter feed whilst I was in America uh, and that was reported to be uh, a, a constitute a hate crime uh, for whatever reason then when I returned home although that post was um, uh, put up in uh, the States uh, if it's available in Scotland, then it's considered to be published in Scotland and therefore the law would come into effect. Um, but, it, it, I mean, the, the whole um, content of this piece of legislation is extremely controversial, not just by what's in it, but by what's not in it. So they have deliberately excluded sex as a, a protected characteristic. Yeah. So women and misogyny are not incorporated into this bill. And the caveat there has been that they are going to bring in a specific piece of legislation to address misogyny at some future date. Mm -hmm. But the reality is that with the Scottish government's obsession with queer theory policies, that um, uh, misogyny legislation will include trans-identifying males. Yes. And therefore, that is no defence 
against yeah. the type of misogyny, the type of homophobia that we are seeing and uh, that I recently experienced in the chamber from a Tory MP, Alicia Cairns, when she launched into a blistering attack on me for having the temerity to speak about LGB people uh, as a specific group yes. uh, and leaving out transsexual people. And because, it's that because, centering. Because trans identity has got absolutely nothing people. to do with sexuality. And I don't know nothing. why they're lump, lumped in together. And we know, you know, the LGB alliance was set up deliberately to make that point that, that actually they wanted to protect yes. rights of gay people. And indeed, yes. we, we, we know particularly young women, lesbian women, are actually some of the people yes. who are having some of their rights yes. and safety most trampled on. But this is the thing. I mean, J.K. Rowling, she's been threatened by numerous people and reports to the police, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, one activist, uh, India Willoughby, a, a, a journalist uh, who, has, uh, who, who is a trans-identified male, um, who is basically talking about, you know, this is, uh, this is being, being misgendered. She believes... He, sorry, he believes that being misgendered is a uh, uh, should be a crime, should be prosecuted under it, and that it's a hate crime. Um, and there was some advice online to to J.K. Rowling, who's just been an absolute hero on all of this, standing mm. up for this, basically yes, saying, "Your best advice to delete the post about Indy Willoughby is they most likely contravene the new law. Start deleting." To which J.K. Rowling replied, "If you genuinely imagine I delete posts." calling a man a man so as not to be prosecuted under this ludicrous law, stand by for the mother of all April Fool's jokes. Now, this is the thing. I know numerous women um, online and friends. We are more than happy to be arrested for saying that we do not believe that a man can become a woman or a woman can become a man and, and naming the, a, a biological male as a male. And I'm quite happy to go to prison for that. Definitely have decided that is something I'm willing to go to prison yeah. for because I will, not be, I will not be bullied, cajoled or threatened into, yeah. into telling a lie when I know it not to be true because that is 1984 Orwellian stuff, isn't it? Yeah, well, I mean, there's two points I would make. First one is that it turns out that uh, in all of this mess, uh, J.K. Rowling's grasp on reality is even more impressive than her guest for fantasy. <laughs> uh, and the, and the, the, the second point is that, you know, um, for, for women to be subjected to this type of gaslighting from their own governments... Uh, is is beyond Orwellian. I mean, Orwellian. It, it really is. This is a psychological violence against women. This is telling women that they cannot identify uh, groups of people, uh, male groups of people, uh, uh, coherently and crisply uh, to maintain their safety uh, and uh, and to tell the truth. Uh, in a court of law, for example, uh, where it would be considered to be a, a hate crime if you rightly gendered or you spoke of the correct sex yeah. of your attacker. Uh, uh, these types of um, uh, policies have significant impacts on the rights and safeties of women. And the, yeah. the, you know, the Labour Party are making uh, um, a, a lot of noise about uh, violence against women and girls but they will introduce exactly the same yeah. slate of policies should the British public be foolish enough to vote them in. Well, and I noticed in your earlier segment you were talking about there being very little difference between the two uh, main parties. Mm. Uh, th the big difference is that with the Labour Party, you can guarantee that you will have yeah. all of these queer theory-based oh, policies yeah. introduced oh, oh, the, the culture and that wars are going to get absolutely everyone. Yeah, yeah, the culture wars are going to get worse, but the Tories have not stood up uh, 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 on this front enough. Uh, really good to talk to you, uh, Neil yeah. uh, Hamvi. He's an Alba Party uh, uh, MP. 